What's up guys? Today I thought I'd talk about uh, how I can't wear binders anymore. Today, I thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit about alternate ways to bind without a binder, blah blah blah, because I can no longer wear binders anymore. For some reason, like, the shape of them just doesn't fit my body, and my body is really weirdly proportioned, so I'm really broad up here, and, like, this area, I'm pretty wide, so I'm big, I'm broad, I don't know, like, I have pretty big, like, you know, shoulder muscles and whatnot, and then, uh... My arms aren't huge, but compared to like my forearm, you know, I'm pretty big, like in this area, which is really confusing, and like my neck's kind of big, and then you get lower, and like I go like this, and it just, it doesn't make any sense, and then my chest is like down here, and it's weird, like it's all, it's all weird stuff, so it's weird. So recently, I found out that I can't wear binders anymore because of the way my body is proportioned, and you know, as I'm trying to get more muscle and work out more and I'm trying to build myself a certain way physically muscularly that's a word I promise it's affecting the way I wear clothes and more specifically binders I've been binding for seven years and I started wearing binders probably six or five years into that seven years binders are what saved me back then when I was binding right and now I can't use them so I can't I was at this point where I was like, okay, what do I do? Because I still need a bind, and I feel like I need a bind, and I need something where I'm going to be able to bind, but the binder's not working, and, you know, ace bandages aren't safe, and duct tape isn't this and that isn't safe, so I don't know what to do. At first, I had just grown out of my binder, so at first I started off with a small size binder, and then that didn't work anymore, so I gave those away to some people I knew in need of them, and then... More recently, I was in mediums, and those started not to fit, so, you know, I did the giveaway, I have some other ones that I'll do giveaways with and whatnot, I gave some to some people I know that needed them, etc, etc. And I thought about looking into, you know, large binders and this and that, but they're so expensive, and, you know, I kind of didn't want to get something that I was just going to grow out of again, or, like, if it didn't work, if it didn't fit, or if it didn't bind enough, or ex whatever the case may be. I was just being a little bit cautious. With all that being said, I just want to go ahead and talk about how it's really dangerous to bind with tape, it's dangerous to bind with ace bandages. Binders are still dangerous, but they're the least dangerous, and those are probably what I advocate the most, is for people to go out and wear a binder made for binding. And I've also seen advances in binders, you know, as of late. Now, so I've been trying to figure out, you know, what was the best to bind with and this and that. Ace bandages for the winter and whatnot, that's cool, those work, but like in the summer when it's hot, I live in the desert, like I don't like when it sweats all over, it gets all gross and nasty, and you can't really like clean it, because if you wash it, you might shrink it, and it moves too much, and I hate that it moves, because I feel like I'm always like tugging on it, and I'm like, bro, stay, like I got you in a perfect place, and now you're trying to do other things, no. So I took to tape. I tried uh, using duct tape one time for pride because I had found all this stuff about it. I was like, oh, open binding, that's so cool. I can go to pride and people will know I'm trans and I can be shirtless and it'd be really awesome, but that didn't work out. So, but as time went on, I learned how to use the tape better and it was the Gorilla Tape, Gorilla Crazy Glue Tape, you know? And that actually worked okay for a while, but A, you can't use tape for a long time. And it has, you know, the residue, like the sticky residue, and I really hated that. It was painful, just everything. Everything about tape that's bad, yeah, it's true. <laughs> but the main thing for me was it was strong, it held back, it did everything that I needed it to. The only thing was it wasn't too flexible, like it would kind of like bunch up and stuff because it's like hard, you know, so it would kind of like make points and stuff every once in a while, like if it wasn't completely flat enough. And the other big thing was the residue. I really hated the residue. Like it would get all over me and get all over my shirts. It would just feel uncomfortable. But for the most part, I was finding out that tape was working. I was like, okay, this works, this is great, what else? Devin, one of my friends Devin had been telling me about 
you know, KT tape and sports tape and all this stuff. And I was like, that sounds cool. Maybe I'll check it out. I tried it. Uh, it didn't have residue. So I was glad about that. But I also didn't feel like it was holding enough. I feel like, it, you know, like when I got sweaty, like it just wasn't perfect. And then I remembered when I had first gotten my tattoos, one of my jobs, I had to cover them. And at first it was just this one and this one, which is gone now. Uh... I would take the sports tape and I would just put a little bit over and it kind of looked like my skin and you couldn't even tell and now sometimes I'll wear it to cover this one. So I was like, hmm, maybe let me try that. So if you guys are wondering, Ace Waterproof Sports Tape. The reason I call out this one is mainly because the waterproof. Blue like the ocean. This is awesome, it comes in a nude color already. So, what I recommend with this is take however much of a piece you need, cut it with scissors, because if not, you're gonna mess up the elasticity and it's not gonna be sticky or anything. But, use scissors with this, find out how much you need, and bada boom, bada bing. It's awesome. I'm gonna kinda tell you guys how I do it, but I'm also gonna let you guys know. No matter what, there's a lot of people out there who will tell you how to bind, like open chest bind basically, which is basically what I do with this. Just remember to take everything with a grain of salt because it's not always going to work for you. You need to adhere this to the way it's going to make your body look best. I like that crease in my chest and my chest is pretty separated. Like for the most part you kind of just see like this crease and it's separated. I have built some muscle right here. So it mainly looks like pecs, right? It looks like muscle. It looks pretty... Uh. And then, you know, the, the fat is more towards the bottom of my chest. There's pros and cons to it. There's always going to be pros and cons. This isn't thick. And so it's just like little strips. But that's okay. Usually I do from like my nipple this way to... I try not to go past my armpit. So just like right here. Typically if I'm trying to get really flat, I'll do about five pieces. Probably be about that long. I'll pull out a piece, kind of eyeball it, cut it. Then I push my chest to the side, put the tape, and I kind of angle it sometimes so it's not just straight. Like if I'm going down, I'll angle it up, and if I'm going up, I'll angle it down, and then I'll do one straight. I kind of just look for like how my chest is formed and how to make it look flatter, but like I said, because I have this muscle right here, I don't make it super flat because then it looks weird because then I have this muscle, so I kind of let, you know, the bulge or whatever be because it accentuates my pectoral muscles which I think is pretty cool but this is how I buy now and it doesn't have residue for this type of tape it actually does hold and it is pretty strong so I know when I first tried it I was like oh this isn't gonna work it's not gonna hold but it actually it's pretty strong it's pretty durable it's flexible it's breathable uh, it's waterproof so when you sweat it doesn't mess anything up it doesn't like start coming up it's awesome. I really recommend that. So go out, get yourself some Ace Bandage Waterproof Tape. Try it out. And for the Gorilla Duct Tape, I still do think that one's great. It's just like I said, the residue and like sometimes it just like bulks up and whatnot. And this one doesn't because it's like smooth, it's soft, it's flexible. You can't really tell. Sucks I can't wear binders anymore, but hey, I, at least I have an alternate option available to me, which is pretty cool. And hopefully I work my butt off and I get my top surgery funded soon. So positive vibes my way that I make enough to go get that. And also, if you want to donate and or share to my GoFundMe link for my top surgery, it is at the bottom. GoFundMe.com slash FundingTheCaden down below in the description. As well as all of my other social medias if you want to go ahead and hit me up on there. If you have any questions or want to talk or anything like that, I'm totally open. So go ahead me up like this video if that was some useful information to you uh, share it if you need know somebody who needs to know about this amazing sports waterproof tape that I'm not using for sports also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because hopefully maybe we can get this up to 500 subscribers because we're pretty close so maybe let's try to do that yeah 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 or not do what you want this is it's America free country and if you're not watching America then Hey, 
that's it. Thank you for watching, guys. Also, if you like my hat, go ahead and check out aaloca.com. I also got it in pink with the white concha. This is blue with the pink concha. So, yeah, I'll show you. I'll model this one for you guys, too. Oh, beautiful. Uh, they're snapbacks, so they're really dope. I love them. Uh, I was going to wear this one, but since I'm wearing blue, it's like blue and blue. And this one still has pink in it too, so A. It's a really awesome clothing line, check them out. Their stuff is exclusive, it's always changing. There's new stuff dropping October 2nd. They're having an event here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, October 1st. So if you're in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and you're a fan of the brand, hit me up and maybe you can come through to the event. Other than that though, like I said, everything's down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.